In this video, we start working on the other details on the base. And some rope. Okay, so tucked down in there is a rose. It's kind of hard to see here in the white, but I think there's a shot of it there. So we've been using this dark, um, uh, slightly purplish red, very slightly purplish red. And I'm gonna get, I'm actually gonna switch to a smaller brush this time and just try to get in there and base the petals on the rose. Gonna do two coats of this. I do two coats of pretty much everything in here and I thin my paints out on my wet palette. All right, there, easier to see. So let's hit the vine. So we're taking both our dark organic green and then our warm brown, and we're gonna mix them about 50-50, and we're gonna base coat the vine. All right, hopefully you can see those details better now that they're painted. All right, onto this piece of scaffolding that broke off. We're gonna use our dark, warm brown. This is the same brown we used on the wood for the cross beam of the cross on which a chain rasp was crucified. And as for the rope, we have a uh, warm brown of a much brighter hue. And we're going to use this uh, warm off white. We're gonna mix those together, a little bit more brown than white. And we're gonna use this to paint the rope. It's pretty dark right now. And then I'm going to wash it, but then when we dry brush it up, we'll just use the white. And I think uh, it'll come out really nicely. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we're gonna start washing. We're gonna start with this red wash. I'm just gonna dab it over the rose. I just wanna get some down in the recesses and we're gonna do a light dry brush on this later just to help the petals break out a little bit. And then mostly we're gonna be using a brown wash here that I forgot to show on the camera. And we're going to hit uh, the piece of the scaffolding and we're going to get this into the rope as well. As stated before, washes can take a while to dry. So that is all that I had time for this morning. But so far, I'm pretty happy with how the base is coming together. And after tomorrow's dry brushing, all these details are really gonna pop and we can start moving on with the rest of the model. That is how I've been hobbying lately. Please let me know how you've been hobbying lately down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to get daily hobby videos, consider subscribing. If you want a preview of my next painting video, check out my Rumble. I do the occasional blog post related to the channel over on my Tumblr, and you can also follow me on Instagram.